Hi, my name is Patrick Payne. I'm the Chief Technology Evangelist here at Zoomasys. I'm here today to introduce to you our new JBase 5.6 and its exciting new features. In this video, I will introduce you to our new REST interface. I will show you how easy it is to set it up and get started writing your first API. Let's get started. To get REST or Web APIs up and running in JBase 5.6, all you have to do is start up a J agent with it configured to accept web requests. The first thing we'll do is look at our config file. We validate that on services it is accepting HTTP requests. We then start up JAgent. I have a config here that starts it up. We then go over to our web server and if we hit our default port of localhost 2002, a default REST debugging service will fire off, which shows you the process information for that particular run. So we can see it was line four, localhost, process tree, everything. So we have now validated that REST is up and running. To build your first program, all you have to do is go into JBase and edit and make your first program, which we're going to call Hello World. All we're going to do is print Hello World back. So we call our WSEND program Hello World from line. We compile our program. Now we configure our resource file to expose that subroutine. So we do that by editing the WDB resource file. It is the directive, which is in this case the API directory, asterisk, and what we want to call the resource on the internet, which is going to be hello world. Line one is P, a description. Hello World Application, and the name of our subroutine. Hello World. We can now go back to our browser and browse to our API directory, Hello World, and we now see the program we just wrote. We can then enhance the program to be interactive. Let's say we want to send in our name. So we're going to say question mark name equals Patrick, which would have sent that as a variable in. We're going to go back to our program. We are going to call our get var program, getting the name variable that we sent in here. Change this to say our name. We run our program and it's now interactive. We also have available as a demo a template for a RESTful services application. The source code is all there and it simulates the classic RESTful operation which is your classic CRUD which is create, read, update, and delete. So we pull up Postman which is a REST testing program within Chrome and we type in the URL for our standard get and there it has returned back a series of records. So a get against our URL sends back a list of records. We can then say we want one record by putting an ID of any of those records as a next parameter send. We have now got, received one record. That's your read. The next is you change the action to delete and do a send. It has now instructed the service to delete that record. We can then do a post, which is an add. We go into the body. We type in the JSON of what we wanted to update it. We tell it to send it. And it came back and said, hey, I did a post result and I updated the record accordingly like this. 
actually that's an addition, whereas put by rest definition is a update. So here I have demonstrated a full RESTful application and all the source code is available within JBase 5.6. So there was a quick demo of REST services now available in JBase 5.6. To learn more about REST services and other new exciting features available, please visit jbase.com. I am Patrick Payne. Thank you for watching.